right, so you guys have finally made it to Picnic Rocks. This is actually a really famous historical place in the town of Kennebunk. The Kennebunk River right here is a little different than the Kennebunk River that we've seen in the other spots. Now you're starting to get brackish water. Brackish water means that it's part salt and part fresh. So down this way is where we started at the Kennebunk Pond. Now we're coming all the way down towards the ocean. So the ocean is in that direction. This part of the river is known for all of its shipyards. At any given time, there were seven to nine shipyards in action, and the boats grew in size. In the 1820s, they were building 200-ton boats. In the 30s, they were building 300-ton boats. In the 40s, 400-ton boats, and so on, until eventually they had to reach the end of the river, and they were building boats that were up over 1,200 tons. And this river, if you look at it now, it's really meandering. We're starting to get those really big curves. So it's hard to imagine those great big schooners being able to get down this river, but they were able to do it with a lock system. The lock system actually blocked the water as the tide came in, raised the boats, and then when they let go of the gates, the water would carry the boat down to the next lock system. So back at Durrell's Bridge, that's where we had the most of our shipyards, and that's why the ship's captain's houses are all on Summer Street. cake house is actually kind of an interesting story. Apparently it was a ship captain who was out at sea and kept sending his architect different pictures of various houses that he saw on his travels and the architect tried to put all of those pictures into one house which is why you end up with a house looking quite as unique as this one. As you can see you can start to see on the edges of the river it's starting to erode away. You can see trees falling in. This is because this is an active part of the river where the tide comes in and goes out. Remember how we looked at the plants at Kennebunk Pond and you saw freshwater grasses. Now, over across the bank, you're gonna see seaweed. So that should give you a good clue that a lot of this water is salty. Rocks was also this site. Um, the reason it got its nickname was people would come up here with picnics as they had canoe parades coming down here. So think about Kenny Bunkport in the summertime when you have Memorial Day parades and things like that. That was the same thing, except for they had them in canoes coming down this river. And all of the townspeople would come up here and sit and watch the canoe parade go by.